What's this song supposed to be? I don't know, but they are utterly butchering it. <laughs> Sorry, I do love jazz, but I've never trusted an Englishman to play it. <laughs> do you like to dance? I'd worked with David Doyello a couple of times before. We kept in contact. Um, I think he had a feeling for my writing. I obviously had a feeling for his acting. And I got a phone call from him saying he'd found this rather interesting book uh, by Susan Williams about uh, Ruth and Soretzi and uh, would I have a look at it and could I come over to uh, LA and um, discuss it with a, with a producer who, who, he, who he was with at the time. For him it was a love project and for me it was a love project. So I spent about three months trying to um, work out how to tell the story it's to, it's, it, it takes place over a 20-year period, so one doesn't want the story to be episodic. So um, it was, it was a, it's just working out how to reduce it into sort of a, a, in, so it has a nice flow as a, as, a, as a film script. Father will hate him on sight. He's cleverer than him, and he's black. And I would hate to walk away from you, knowing that I wouldn't see you again. Well, then you must. I won't see me again. Are you insane? White, British, and what about your people? What is so glorious about the story is that is that uh, they are so much in love that actually no one can defy it, no one can break it down. They are absolutely immovable, and I just love the sense that there are these two people. Whatever is thrown at them, they just say, "No, no, no, we're staying together. We're in love. This is who we are. You have to deal with it. Don't tell us what we have to do. We're in the right. Now, what are you going to do?" My grandfather was a king. I am his heir. I have a responsibility to return home to my people. I will never achieve anything worthwhile if I leave my heart here. I must have met about 30 people who knew him over the years and every single one of them said that he was the loveliest, kindest, gentlest uh, man that they have ever met, and not a single, single word of criticism. It's quite unusual. So he obviously had this, this charm, this, this charm's actually the wrong word. He obviously had this sort of real inner core of, of, of humanity in him that, uh, um, that made him one of the great leaders. If you choose to marry the leader of an African nation, you will be responsible for the downfall of the British Empire in Africa. You choose a life of insults and shame. I know what you're asking, what it means. And yes, I will marry you. She does look fantastic in the part. There's something, there's something in the in the in the eyes and in the look that you pick up, and you're thinking, that's going to work. Two decades of preparing you to be our king. This is how you face me. My home, our home. Who do you think will accept you? As if it were your right to be our queen. You will renounce any right to the throne. For me, the key to its success, if, if, if it does well in, 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 in Africa. I am ready to serve you because I love my people. I love this land. But I love my wife. <laughs>